Well, hello, welcome. I'm Tom Sinclair. This is Streaming Idiots, but today it's also Stream Fest Live because we're coming to you on a special Saturday afternoon edition of Streaming Idiots so that we can take place in take take part in this wonderful worldwide stream fest that started at five o'clock this morning on the east coast well five o'clock eastern time but it started in england and has been been zipping across the atlantic and across the u.s and uh, will conclude you know in another two or three days i think i'm not sure what their schedule is after this but uh, but the, but the guys with World of Live Streaming have just put on a fabulous show. I hope it's going to be the first of, of many kind of annual events. Um, Giles and Rudy and Merle and Kenny and Dave and Dan and Martin and Tommy and Jim and Fred and Billy. The whole gang and has done. And, and Jan. And John boy. And Jan. That's right. And Jan. Um, and these disembodied voices you hear, folks, are the folks are, are the folks at. Uh, well, I, you'll see who they are in just a second. Um, anyway, I'm so delighted to bring you. This is the second time we're on today. Uh, the first time we were on uh, a, a couple hours ago, we did an unboxing of the PTZ Optics 20X. Um, PTZ camera, the Gen 2, the new Gen 2, because we wanted to we wanted to play around with it. It was brand new, out of the box. It's been sitting here in my studio for like two days, begging me, Tom, take me out of the box and play with me, play with me. But I couldn't do it because I had to unbox it today and it was great. And then between that show and this show, I got to play with it some more and found out that they have done the PTC Optics engineer, Matt Davis, amazing guy, you need to meet him someday. He has done the amazing thing of reducing the latency of the IP stream, which was between two and 300 milliseconds. This is the IP stream right here, okay? This is the SDI latency right here. He has reduced this latency to almost the equivalent of the SDI latency. You like those graphics? You want to see them again? Okay, here we go. Run two, three. This is the IP latency. This is the SDI latency. Isn't that amazing what you can do with technology, the graphics? And you thought that was just my hands. Okay, but forget about all that technology. Coming up next is going to be even more amazing. Um, and I got to tell you a quick story and then, then we'll get into the stuff. And you probably noticed something over my my shoulder here, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even have it open yet. There, that's better, okay. Because it's talking to me too. And it's saying, come, play with me. I'm more fun than the PTC optics camera. No, 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 no. Okay, so I met this guy at StreamCon and, 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 and he was very striking, has a wonderful voice. You're gonna enjoy his voice in just a second. And he was showing off this creation, this concoction, this amalgamation of technologies that he had put together, he and, and a team, I'll give his team some credit too, and that basically allowed you to um, take a camera that was a mile, two miles, six miles away, and bring it into your vMix production as if it were a camera attached to your PC. And was there some latency? Well, yeah, there's a little bit of latency, but hey, you know, it's it's we're talking about miles now, not feet, meters, you know, inches. It was miles. And 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 I was just blown away. And I said, you know, number one, if you're gonna resell these, <laughs> if if you want a dealer, I'll be your dealer. I will, I will, I will help you resell these all across the US and, and across the world. It, it it is that amazing. Now, could anybody have done this? I, I you know, I bet they could, but the, the matter is not could they, but this is somebody that has. And so with 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 probably just a little bit more ado, uh, I want to bring Howard in. Um, Howard, Howard Jones. Uh, welcome to the broadcast, Howard. This is this is Howard over here, by the way. If you're getting us confused, he's the one on the right. Howard, welcome. <laughs> All right, thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me, and also on behalf of the WIDA team. The WIDA team. All right, W Y D A, and that's the uh, the 
we'll just get it right out of the way right now. It's wida, W-Y-D-A dot C-O. That's the website, not dot com, dot C-O, W-Y-D-O dot C. There it is right down there. You can, you can copy it and go there right now. Um, I, I was just pointing to the graphic below your name right there that, that has the website on it. But Howard, tell us about tell us about where you got the idea to do this thing, and then in, in, when the suspense is built up high enough, we'll actually show people what it is and what it does. Tell us a little bit of the history. Okay, uh, a long version or the short version? Uh, give me the uh, forty-five okay. second version. You cut me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, right. I'll cut you off. So there was a, there's a team of us that work together. Um, most of us are in either the IT field or IP cameras and also the um, wireless internet service provider field. And uh, one day we brainstorm and we also do live streaming. So um, after brainstorming from coming off a catastrophic failure using those other uh, HMI transmitters, uh, well, actually, we under-delivered on a live stream. We were doing a sports live stream, and the only solution we had was a wireless transmitter uh, for the amount of cameras that we offered. You know, we had the main camera, and then we over-promised. We had a couple of sets of wireless transmitters, and long story short, um, they failed us. So uh, we went into the lab, and... Um, we said, hey, let's take some stuff we got, put it together, uh, experiment, and come out with a good product that's, uh, that's economical, that people can use, and that, you know, maybe we can sell. And here you have it. We put this together. It's the wider and works. HMI transmitter and receiver. And it works. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that, that, was, uh, that, was, boy, that was amazing. I've never asked somebody for a short story, and they've actually made it a short story. That was, that was great. And and so you, I don't you want to put you I don't want to put you to sleep. So I gave you <laughs> the nuts and bones. <laughs> no, 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 no. From this catastrophic is... failure and, and oh, uh, yeah. uh, necessity being the mother of invention. Yep. Those forces combined came together, and we produced this uh, product. I, I I feel your pain. I I do. I feel your pain. There's nothing worse than having to stand in front of a client and say, you know, you can't get what you paid for. Um, I, I, I don't want to Absolutely. ever be there again, ever, ever. Yes. Yes. All right. So your pain motivated you to create this thing and, and you brought it to StreamCon in Atlanta two months ago and showed it off. And, and, and tell us about that experience. Tell us what you did. Uh, well, Everyone there got it. I said, hey, guys, look, I have this wireless transmitter. You know, let, let, let me rock it. And no one knew what I was talking about. And it was like getting the cold shoulder. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And one second, you know, two minutes. I was like, hey, I got this HDMI transmitter. You know, let me rock. Um, and then finally, we put the transmitter on the uh, PTZ optics camera. And uh, no, first we did the uh, Panasonic GH4. Right. And uh, so we had the transmitter. Uh, and one end of the hallway and the receiver down the other end, which is about what? It was about 30 meters. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, what's this? No latency. And it just sort of erupted. The uh, the attention sort of erupted from there, the interest. Okay, hey, let's take it outside. So what we do? We took it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The hold, wait, 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 wait. You, you, you talk about, you know, people talk about a chick magnet. Well, this was a geek magnet. It was wonderful. <laughs> this was a nerd magnet, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. That? Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry. I just had to jump it's like, in. Okay. Yeah. So they said, uh, okay, we're going to put it to the test. And uh, so they kept walking. Well, with the receiver, no, with the transmitter and the receiver was on the inside in the uh, lobby. Um, we were watching the receiver and we sent, who did we send out? Um, I think it was me and Kenny. The first right. time I know and, Dave got, uh, Dave took it the second time and, and went like, you know, from Atlanta to Marietta with it or something like that. But yeah. the first time it was just me and Kenny. Yeah. And I was on the phone so and y'all kept saying, go further, go test. further. Yeah. Yeah. The stress test, but we just couldn't stress it enough. It just kept going, just kept going, kept going, just like Tootsie Roll. And uh, it wouldn't stop. So I was like, whoa, you know, and this, you know, the signal was so powerful, was so robust that, you know, it was like, most of us have never really seen anything like this at that price point. 
And, really? Uh, well, so and the next and, step? and yeah. we took we took the the receiver outside and ran a cable inside to where the vMix PC was. And then uh, Dave took the the camera and the transmitter down the road, around the corner, and actually it was burning. It was it was shooting around a concrete block wall through a grove of magnolia trees and around the corner of the hotel, about I don't know a quarter of a mile away. So it was no longer line of sight, and we were still getting great video. And then at one point we substituted the Panasonic camera for the. Um, PTZ Optics Cam PTZ Optics, yes. and ran the PTZ Optics Cam um, with a battery and ran the, the, trans, the transmitter. Of course, the transmitter was running with a battery already. Um, and so the whole thing was, yes. was wireless with no cords. I mean, it was just like, you know, there are no cords here. Well, there it is right there. All right, so, so tell us, show us, wow us. Let's see it. Everybody is thoroughly anxious to see it now okay so um it's uh what you see right there is you see the ip encoder on top of the battery okay so the unit right now is portable and here is the antenna so it's a portable unit right there uh i hope you can get a clear view so that's the transmitter that's operational and what you see right there is uh, some the receiving guy. unit yeah oh <laughs> the, re the receiving unit uh so that's the ib ip encoder of the receiving unit attached to a battery which is uh the hdmi output from the ip encoder is going uh into the seven inch monitor right there it's mounted on a stand and there is the antenna um hey you want to do me a favor just do a quick demo and grab this transmitter so yeah send him down the hall send him across the street all right send him to get some a milkshake that's what we need okay all right so stop right there for a second don't move so what he's going to do he's just going to walk uh around this facility and uh just do a basic demonstration go ahead okay go ahead all right let's see his camera shot Okay, you know what? I don't have it going into my vMix controller. I apologize. <gasps> but, oh, it's uh, it's on the monitor. It's on the monitor. All right. Keep going. Don't stop till you get tired. <laughs> Can you zoom in some more on that monitor? Uh, you know what? If you can turn on some lights in there, I think he's in a dark hallway. I think he is. All right. All right, you can come back in. He's lost. Take a left. Yeah, he is lost. <laughs> oh, he's going outside. All right, yeah, go outside. Go. Now, folks, this is a totally unrehearsed demonstration. I know that the polish of this demonstration makes you think that we've been working on it for hours, but this is really something that we just threw together today. Unbelievable, I know. All right, so it looks like we lost the signal this time. You know, it's hit or miss when it's not line of sight. Okay, right. bring it in. Oh, there he is. And actually, so the HDMI transmitter transmits audio and video. He's at the front door right now. And, uh, Back down the dark hallway. Down another hallway. Holy cow. Yeah, it's and a back place. into the studio. And there he is. So uh, this is actually, yeah, you can put it right there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And if you can close that door, Tom says thank you. If you can close that door, if it's still open, if you can close the doors. And if you could order us a pizza for later, that'd be great, too. Oh, so speaking of which, that's my uh, trusty assistant. And actually, this morning, uh, from his apartment, and his the back of his apartment faces the mountain where I am in East Orange, uh, his apartment faces Eagle Rock Reservation. So basically, I went to the mountain or the hilltop, and we did a transmission. It's documented two and a half miles. 
And so uh, look out for that video. We're putting the final touches on it now. Okay, so so Howard is now making this this available um, as a kit, um, and as a solution, it yes. as a solution, and it comes in a nice kit bag. All right. In fact, he sent me one the other day, and and you know I got the whole shoot and match. It's wonderful. Um, let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. There we go, and. So, in the bag, it comes with, ah, this is the part that I never use. This is the, the instructions, but it's got step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble everything. It's got pictures and circles and arrows and draw it better than the graphics that I did earlier. Um, Howard, do you mind if I go through the kit? Would that be all right? Sure. Okay. And, and you That's can just right. jump, in. You jump in with comment. You jump in with comments, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a quick start guide. Uh, okay, so we've got um, a, a POE a adapter for power. We've got two of those. We've got, um, oh, this is the fun part right yeah, here. So this is the, the yeah, transmitter. That's the POE injector adapter. Um, for the transmitter and there's one for the receiver yep um yeah Ooh. ip encoder ip encoder they got one of these for the transmitter one of these for the receiver one to encode one yes. to de encode and then a bunch of cables and then we've got a uh of the actual the actual radio itself uh we've got a receiver radio at a transmitter radio. Now, Howard, I know these are marked receiver and transmitter, but are, are they bi-directional? Yes. Oh, no, they can't be interchanged. One is definitely have to be for the uh, transmitter in and one to the receiving end. So the receiving end and the IP encoder, they match together. Okay. And the uh, transmitting antenna goes with the uh, transmitting IP encoder. The whole battery setup that powers the whole thing. And it's all in one kit. Yes. So, yeah. So, the transmitter has a battery uh, setup, a portable setup. The receiver does not. So, because you'll have to be forced to... to be, yeah, landline power. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you have done a, uh, you've done a video um, of setting this up. Um do you have that video? Uh, I do. It's on your. It's uh, on the website, right? W W Y D A dot com dot co. Okay, so if you go Why to the website, co? you can see the setup on slash, it. Slash slash quick start. Slash quick start. All right. Very good. Very good. Giles, how are we doing on time? Are we doing okay on time? Uh, yeah, we're doing good. We've got about uh, seven or eight minutes to go, Tom. Okay. Well, let's switch over and and take some questions um, because we may have a few questions. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Um, there are no questions. If, if, if you've you got want questions, to see some of the demo di uh, videos we've done. Yeah? Yeah, we've got some... Uh, uh, demo videos on a website okay well let's bring one in wide.co uh, and oops if you put us if you put an M on dot co it doesn't work <laughs> and yeah here's a one mile demo oh these are vimeos right yes uh, okay well we probably have the same uh yeah are you able to play them well i'm going to just uh bring it into vmix as a web browser and let's see if we can play it in vmix 
So we'll swap over to that. There we go. Hi everyone. Today we'll be demonstrating the WIDA HDMI wireless transmitting and receiving unit. This is the actual transmitting component itself. We'll actually be taking this transmitting unit in this car a mile down the road. You see behind me? And right over here, we actually have a receiving unit. We'll be taking the antenna component of the receiving unit and facing it where that transmitter will be going. Yes, I do. And we're just going to speed up in time. Just a little bit because we don't have as much time left as this video is. Although, as I recall, Vimeo doesn't like us to do that. Now we're one mile. Well, that, at that point, it was one mile out. We had to turn around. And at that point, um, you know, if the antennas are not facing each other at one mile, um, you'll have some dropouts. So I had to get out of the car and once I turned around and faced the antennas toward each other because we're headed back. That makes sense. A couple of comments and, in the uh, chat. Plus there was... Yep, I'm catching them. Okay, uh, Howard, I'm going to bring down the volume yes. on, on this. We'll let okay. it loop in the background. And... Um, Tommy Willis says, with this kit, you only, do you only have to add a camera and you're ready to go? Yes, plug and play is ready to go. No setup. Plug and play. Plug and play. Okay. And, and David says in the chat room that he's dealing with a new puppy. Will you help him deal with his new puppy? No, no, no. He said... Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. um, what is the latency from the, uh, from the, from the camera to the switcher oh uh less than a second less than a second About okay half a second yes. okay all right all right i'll show and you when we go back to uh we'll sh i'll show you on it on the uh video when we go back to the um okay okay all right oh, dang. all right and then martin uh stuckey who is over in switzerland says can you use multiple sets hey, in the same network Yes, uh, yes, you can. And uh, All right. the, the how, signal won't interfere with each other. How, how many? How many can you use in the same network? What's the most uh, you've ever how tested? How many separate units? Yeah, uh, I've tested two. Uh, okay. Well, let me get some clarity on what he means. Um, yeah, yeah, Martin, tell us what you mean. mean. Like two separate <laughs> units going into the switcher two sets of transmitters and receivers or does he mean like one transmitter to two receivers i think he means two transmitters to one receiver okay yeah two so, yes you so can do two that. two that cameras order. come into one one receiver okay so special order to have a receiver that's yes. capable of receiving both of them okay all right yes all right so it'd be interesting that that that's going to be an option then for the system is to be able to have two yes. transmitters. Now, if, if you have a system that has, that you buy, that has one transmitter well, does he and mean one receiver. Two re does he mean two receivers or one transmitter? Transmitters on the camera, right? Yes. Okay. And then maybe like the director will have one and then maybe the switcher will have one. That's normally the workflow. Or maybe there are two cameras out there. And he wants to bring both two cameras, cameras in. And one, two transmitters to one receiver won't work. Two, tr okay. So you, so if you want, if you want to run two cameras, you got to have two complete sets. Yes. Got it. Okay. All right. But you can do uh, one transmitter to multiple receivers. 
Right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's check back in the other chat room and see. Um, bum, 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 bum. Um, okay. I don't see any other questions, but if you've got questions, you can shoot them to me or to Howard, um, and they will be available at uh, easternshorebroadcasting.com later this month. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so Giles, right. Uh, we will turn it back yeah, over to you. So let me demo the latency okay. real quick. There oh, okay. Well, one more story. second. We'll oh, show you latency. We're going to have a latency demo, so we'll just hang on for a second. It's a it's a late latent, latency demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a latency demo so, with latency. Right. If you right. can see my left hand going across the uh, lens, and then if you can see the oh, hold on. in the far right corner. Let, let's, let's put you in there. Got it. That's not even a second. That's not even a second. So it wouldn't work for lip sync unless you, of course, you were sending the audio over the same channel as the as the video. Yes. Uh, if your audio is coming in from a separate source, it's not going to work. Um, and if you're doing, um, you know, sports or something like that, that you're not going to notice that that half second difference. That's great. That's great. Well done, Howard. Well done. All right. Well, there it is. There it is. Thank you very much, guys. Giles, we'll turn it right back right, over thank to you, Tom. you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Howard. Hang on yeah. just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Thank, thank you, Tom, and thank you, Howard. That was uh, most interesting. Thank you, um, a wireless device with that sort of range is very impressive. So thank you. Um, OK, well, in about 20 seconds, we will be um, going over to the world of live streaming. Okay, I'm back. It's just you and me, Howard. All right. Well, just well, you and me, and anybody that uh... anybody that's watching the, the streaming idiots feed. <laughs> okay. Then it's just you and me. Oh, we got a little audience. Eighteen on. Uh, okay. Good. Good. YouTube. All right. Great. Great. Yeah. Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, if you're just watching YouTube, you're welcome to come on over to the uh, the streaming idiots um, chat room. Uh, which is at uh, easternshorebroadcasting.com, and then click the wide, Watch Live tab. Uh, looks like we've got another question. Ken Kenny is asking, Howard, is there a box that brings the IP video back to HDMI, or is the signal, is the signal IP via RTSP into vMix? I think it's HDMI yeah, into vMix, isn't it? Um. It's HDMI from the IP encoder into whether it's your monitor, vMix, or you know, you're, you're switching software, your computer, right. capture card. So Kenny, it, it, it terminates at your PC, your vMix PC in HDMI. So you're pulling it in HDMI in, into your vMix PC. And so it's coming from an HDMI camera, it's being converted for the wireless transmission and then converted back to HDMI at the end um, with I, I, with no degradation in quality it's it's bit for bit yeah it's pretty cool let me check the other chat room see if there are in the, any kind of lingering questions over there um, Tommy Willis is asking and I don't know if Tommy's watching this broadcast or not but he says uh, if you've got more than one transmitter receiver are you able to change the frequency so they don't collide Um, each transmitter receiver is locked to, onto each other, and every transmitter receiver set is a unique, um, what is that, uh, as a re si unique signal that's locked onto itself, and uh, so mm -hmm. they won't um, cross-connect with any other device. Okay. All right. Martin is saying in the Streaming Idiots chat that you can actually get the RTSP uh, from the transmitter in VLC. That's interesting. That's cool. And I see Samuel from Norway is watching. Hey, Samuel. What's up, Sam? 
we met him at uh, StreamCon in Atlanta. He flew over yes. to join us. And let's see, who else is watching? Um, Howard Jones is watching. Hey, Howard, you're, you're watching. All right, I see you in chat. And Jerome and Dave and Indrit and John O'Malley and Martin and the other Martin and Richard and Andrew and SECCS Media and Dave Edwards. I already said Dave and M1 Sport. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We really <laughs> appreciate it. It was just kind of a, a, a different kind of thing here on a Saturday afternoon to get to hang out and talk tech with, uh, with Howard Jones. I mean, can it get any better than that? I don't think so. Yeah, uh, is Dave Edwards up in here? He's all, he's a diehard. Yep. He's, he's on chat, he's but like he's also, family. he's also in the, um, um, in, in, on the, on the show, the stream fest show. So he's, I think he's tied up on that. Um, and Martin, says, don't use two transmitters on the same network. You have to build a VLAN for each pair. Okay. Well, cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is going to be great tech. Now, I can't, I can't wait to get this one set up and play with it. Excuse me. Actually, I'm going to take it out to the local high school and show it to the stream team out there um, and let them see what they could do with this camera down on the field and in the parking lot. And we'll take it downtown and set it up for like a parade or a festival. We have parades here all the time. Um, this would be the best thing. I think the Chamber of Commerce would really be interested in something like this. You know, they can just put up a wireless receiver uh, on their office and then send a roaming ca camera out there. Oh, so, Dave Tom, is in the you're chat. On the, uh, Tom, you're on the Gulf Coast, right? On the Eastern Shore. I am on the Gulf of Mexico, right. Yeah, so uh, a good test would be to take it out to the beach and just have somebody just walk out for miles and miles. Yep, yep. That way. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I'm thinking that Rich Ignacio, who was was not able to come to StreamCon, but remember, he's the jet ski guy. He could yes. send somebody out in a Very boat prolific. to the other side of the race course or to the left or the right of the race course with one of these cameras, and he could get on the water action. I mean, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. He could, uh, and I'm sure a sponsor would eat that up. He could finance it with a sponsorship just like that. Yeah, for, you know, fortunately with this technology, it, it allows you more flexibility in your broadcasts and to uh, be more creative because frankly, you'll have uh, um, more range to play with. You can get these cameras in spots you, you normally would otherwise not have. Yep, yep left field right field uh other end of the field um you know, outside stadium yep yep Sky's the limit. places that you never ever would have dreamt because you you knew that if it was wi-fi or something like that it was going to drop off um, and if you had a cable you knew your cable wasn't going to go that long all right all right howard well thank you so much for for taking time out today to to help me with this. I can't Thank wait to, to play with this some more. And um, I'm gonna send you. you an order for a thousand units. Sure. <laughs> he, it, he doesn't <laughs> even flinch. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Good, okay, well, we'll be talking some more. I'll let you go. Have the rest right. of your Saturday. Thanks, Thank Tom. you. You bet, you bet, it's my pleasure. We'll, we'll catch you later. Okay, Howard Jones, what a, what a champ and just a problem solver. I mean, that's, that's what you want is for folks that are going to figure out how to fix it, um, you know, how to make it better, how to solve problems. In, in his case, it was how to solve a problem for himself. And now, you know, he's, he's sharing that solution. Now that he's figured it all out, he's sharing that solution with everybody else. So if you don't want to have to engineer this yourself, if you want something that somebody's already tested, somebody's already engineered it, somebody's already done it uh, step by step, then the, the WIDA system is the one you want. Coming soon to a, uh, an Easter Shore Broadcasting store near you. The, the, the list price is uh, $9.95, um, but if you buy 10 of them, we'll see if we can't make you a deal. Um, anyway, so... 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna drop the stream here at, at streaming idiots and um, we'll do it with our well let's go ahead and do our outro close <laughs>